In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a video quiz inside Canvas Studio. So first you're going to want to access Canvas Studio. You can find it in the left navigation bar and you will be in your library. I'm going to add a quiz to this Khan Academy multiplication video from YouTube. You could also add a quiz to a video that you previously recorded in Canvas Studio or uploaded. And I'll link to a tutorial on how to record videos inside Canvas. To start your quiz, I'm going to click on the three dots, Create Quiz. You can give it a title, a description, and you can choose whether or not you want students to see the question markers on the timeline. I believe that visual support is important for students, so I choose not to hide them. Then click Get Started. Now this little plus is where you're going to add a question. You can press play. I have these three star patches, I guess you could call them right over here. And so I could say if I had one group of three star patches, how many star patches do I have? I can pause and Canvas Studio, you have three question type options. Multiple choice, true or false, or multiple answer. I'm going to choose multiple choice. You can type your question stem. You want to select the correct answer. And here you have some options down below. You can vary your points by answer. This would be appropriate if you had partial credit type questions. You can shuffle the choices. And then a really neat feature is you can add question feedback to each question. Now students will not see this immediately upon answering the question. They will receive all this feedback when they submit their quiz. So you have choices for if they get the correct answer, for an incorrect answer to provide some corrective feedback, or you can just provide some general feedback. Click Save. I'm going to return to my video. Press Play. Now this is the same question. This often happens. I'm going to click Cancel. I didn't make any changes, so I can click Discard. My question's still there. Go back and press Play. This time I'll add a true false. And I'm going to continue watching the video and adding a couple questions till the end. Now we have five questions in my quiz. And I'm going to click Done in the upper right corner. And you can see the little rocket ship on the tile. That's indicating that it has a quiz. But now I want to assign this to my students. So here's how. Now I'm inside my course where I want to assign this quiz. You can do this in assignments or you can do it from modules. I'm going to do this from modules and click the plus, choose new assignment, give it a name, I'll call this delete video quiz, add item, there it is, but I need to attach the quiz I actually made. I'm going to go inside my video quiz and edit. Here's where you can decide your points, you can add any special directions, and you want to scroll down to submission type. This is where you're going to choose external tool. And click find and you want to find Canvas Studio. That's going to bring up your library. And I want to select my quiz. And make sure you choose video quiz embed. Very important. As you develop more video quizzes throughout the year, you'll have a drop down menu to select from. I'm going to choose Embed. 
and then select and you can choose your parameters here and save and publish. Notice when I brought this over from YouTube, it copied all of this information from YouTube. That is going to be distracting to my students. So I can scroll down, click Edit Details, and in the title, I'm going to do a Command or Control A, select all, and delete that because I know that's going to be a distraction. And then I'm going to click Save. Now you you do have these other tabs. This is where you're going to see other information. I do want to point out one accessibility standpoint. If you notice, these are not captioned. Cotton Academy is great for its content, but also its commitment towards accessibility. However, any YouTube video that you bring over into Canvas Studio, you lose the captions. And all Khan Academy videos on YouTube are professionally captioned. So Canvas, if you're listening, this is something that I hope gets fixed. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like from a student perspective. Now I'm in student view. I'm going to click on this assignment. There is my multiplication quiz. Notice I still have my title. That description is gone. I can click get started. I have these three star patches, I guess you could call them right over here. Here's the markers. And so I could say if I had one group of three star patches, how many star patches do I have? So I literally And then there's my Students do have the opportunity to rewatch. They can select the an answer and continue. We have one group of th And we'll stop. The questions will pop up each time. Now students can skip questions. Scoot students can go to the end. I press play. 12, 15, 15. So I encourage you to think about what all of these are after this video is done. They can submit an incomplete quiz, or they can go back and resume. I'm going to go ahead and submit an incomplete so you can see what results look like. View results. So here's my feedback. I got that one correct. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future EdTech tutorials to help you use tools more efficiently and create more accessible content for your students. Until next time, bye everyone.